Hello Year 9. Welcome back to our inquiry this half term. Well done on all the work you have been submitting. We are really impressed with some of your answers and some of your sort of interpretations of the inquiry question. So in our final couple of lessons this half term, I want you to be almost thinking about beyond our inquiry. So what happens next? How do how does did things change for women beyond 1918, beyond 1928, when they gained the vote? And so our title today is, How Far Have Women's Position in Society Changed? And I'm thinking back to our first lesson on this, when we're thinking about what position were women in, in society at the time? How were they viewed by men? And then thinking, what about today? Have things shifted? If so, have they shifted a lot? Have they shifted a little? What's your view on that? So we're starting off by looking at the, one of the first images we looked at in our first lesson. It's a poster showing, well, suggesting what a woman's, what is inside a woman's mind. So you've got things like a ring for marriage, chocolate, a baby, hats, fashion. So not anything really to do with work, not anything else. It's very much about a housewife. We also looked at this image. Um, so this is an infographic showing you the rights they had. Women had won already, but rights that women still had not won by sort of 1900. So the fact that maybe you could be a doctor, um, you could graduate from university, but these are only the first people to, so it's not on a mass scale. And they still couldn't graduate from Oxford or Cambridge. Couldn't vote, we obviously know that changes. Or how it be in certain jobs like police officers, lawyers or jurors. So now we need to think beyond this. How far has it really shifted? A huge amount? Equality or near equality? Or are we still a long way from that? So I've put a few other infographics on to start us off and get us thinking. This is the first one, thinking about changes since women won the vote in 1918. I'm not going to talk for them all, so please do pause the video and look through yourself at all the different ones, but I'm going to point out a couple. Women can do the same jobs, the top one, as men. For example, lawyer, doctor, pilot. Women can file for divorce on the same grounds as men. And the very bottom middle, men and women should have equal pay. So these seem, on the surface, to be really significant, important changes. So potentially, going back to our question, things have changed enormously. Next one. At the top, women in the global workforce. So this is showing you women around the world, what percentage um, sort of sector do they work in? So 61.5% work in services. 13.5% work in industry. And 25% work in agriculture. So you might want to think, what does that really mean? Services might be jobs like, you know, um, waitresses in a restaurant. It could be uh, on the phone. It could be in shops. So that kind of industry. Industry might be like working in factory, working in maybe engineering. Agriculture is more about farming. So that's an interesting kind of thing about where women work. And there's no comparison in this one to be where men work. But what we do have down here is women in leadership. Leadership. So seats in parliament, 23% of the people, the seats in parliament, so the government as such, 23% are women. So that means 77% are men. And CEOs, so these are the chairmen or chairwomen of the top 500 companies, only 4% are women. So 96% are men. Again, really interesting statistics if we're thinking about how far has their position in society changed. Next one. Again, I'm not necessarily going to read it all, so do pause it and look through it. This is focusing just in on the UK. 
one in four women in employment are on a low pay. 22% of those hold a degree. And it's then 37% describe themselves as overqualified and overskilled for their job. Really interesting. Why are they not in a job, therefore, that they are qualified for and skilled for, rather than being overskilled or overqualified? And the final one. This is looking at household work household care and it's like unpaid so you don't you're not being paid to do this work at home and it's showing you a comparison which is good between men and women so we've got in sort of different areas of the world but women yeah so blue is paid work so they're working here for a business or a company or something white is unpaid work so this would be work done potentially at home and both areas of the world, women are doing nearly as much paid work, but doing at least double the amount of unpaid work as well at home. So they're working as much as men, but they're also doing more work at home than men. What does that suggest about society? What does that suggest? about women's position in society? Are they at an equal footing to men? Is it not quite equal, but near? Is it a long way off equal? What do you think? So your task today, all about that question, how far have women's position in society changed? Do you think a huge amount, a little bit, none at all? From 1900, where we started this inquiry. And the first thing I want you to do is watch two clips to give you just a little bit of an idea of what's happened after, so after the vote, kind of those stages. Second one, I want you to read this article and I want you to link it to the two clips to what we've just read and looked at and think about some questions on the worksheet about women's position what changes have been made. And I want you to use the information from the article, the information from the clips, and the information in this video PowerPoint to answer your exit pass on the worksheet. How far have women's position in society changed since the 1900s? And then if you've got time, you can do and watch this extension video. So it's a TED talk and have a watch through it and think, do you agree with it at the end? Excellent, really good. Looking forward to your responses year nine and good luck.